Hey guys, it's Captain Ben with Net Dreams Fishing Charters. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I calibrate my reels. Um, I, I do it a different way than a lot of other people. Um, maybe it's because I got a spooler, but if you take your reels to somebody to get them spooled, or you spool them yourself, um, there's an easier way. I, in my opinion, there's a better way. So I'm going to show you how I do it. First, I'm going to throw the line on here, and I'm going to Put two overhand knots, cinch it down, start the line. Then I'm going to put the same amount of line on every. I got a little line counter here so I can see exactly how much I'm putting on. Uh, so I'm going to put roughly 200 yards on here and then I will show you the rest. All right, we got 200 yards, a 30 pound mono on this. I'm going to clip this line and I'm going to show you the, the rest of what I do. So, I have to drag off a little. So now that spool is almost full. Because I walleye fish and I salmon fish, I don't want to have to change my entire spool every time I go fishing, or every time I switch from walleye to salmon or vice versa. So I spool it with 30. And then when I'm walleye fishing, I use 15 pounds. And then when I'm salmon fishing, I use 30 pounds. What I do is I take a small little micro swivel, little sprows, real small. I don't know. I don't know if you can see that. And then I just tie it to the line. I like to do a palmer knot. If I can use a palmer, I'm using a palmer. If I'm doing lead, uh, then I'll, I'll use a double uni. I've never had a palmer fail me. Probably 90, maybe maybe once, but 99% of the time if I break off, it's usually in the main line, not, not in the knot. Since you down there. Put the tag end. Now here's the real important part. How to calibrate your rods without having to calibrate them. I put 200 yards of 30 pound on here. If I'm walleye fishing, from this barrel swivel, I'll run out another 100 feet to the bait. So I'll have 30 pound and 15 pound for another 100 feet. So at 100 feet, this swivel will tell me that's 100 feet and the line counter will also tell me it's 100 feet. This line counter doesn't mean as much as everybody thinks it does, right? So if, 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 it, if, if I put out 100 feet and this counter says 98, that's not a huge deal. As long as all your rods are consistent, right? So if I'm running 10 rods and they're all the same, um, you're not going to put all your rods at one depth. You're going to spread them a little, right? You're going to have maybe some at at 8 feet down, 10 feet down, 12 feet down, etc. And you're going to let the fish tell you what they want. Um, then you dial in. Now, as long as everything's, all your reels are exactly the same, then it doesn't matter if, if your counter says 105 or 195 or whatever. As long as it's, your stuff is consistent, you can replicate that. Uh, replicating it is key, right? Uh, and you're close enough. I mean, it's 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 not gonna matter if if this says a hundred exactly. You know, like the diff, the five foot difference of line out is such a minimal amount of depth on your lure. Uh, that's the least factor as long as they're all consistent. Uh, so that's how I do it. I'll run. Uh, 200 yards and then I'll run a, a, micro, a micro barrel swivel and then I'll run another sometimes I'll do 94 feet then another barrel swivel and then six feet to the bait because a lot of times when you when you get your line chafed or it starts to wear tear etc fish cut it um, it's generally in that first six feet 
So that way I can just change six feet and I don't have to change a hundred feet. And I don't have to touch, we'll call it the backer. Because, uh, I mean, in theory, I should get a lot of use out of this. I change them every year just to be safe. But, um, you know, for somebody fishing every weekend, you should almost never have to change this. You, that'll last you years. Uh, so that's my little trade secret. Uh, hope you enjoy it.